Hey there, I'm Ian Douglas. I'm the author of the website, techinterview.guide. I'm here to help people with career advancement and interview preparation. My live stream on Twitch covers topics such as company research, how to build resumes and cover letters, applying for the job, getting through interviews, and what to do during negotiations. I've coached thousands and thousands of people over the years to get jobs at the biggest tech companies in the industry, and I'm here to help you too. The following episode is taken from a longer live stream event and may contain interactions with other people in chat. Check out the end of the episode for more information. Let's get to it. Um, if I may, how old are you? I'm old. Uh, does my age get in the way of getting new jobs? It didn't for me. I applied at 30 companies. I withdrew from five or six of them because their teams were all male or all white. And I'm like, I believe very strongly in diversity. And uh, your company appears not to. So I withdrew from six companies. So that left me with 24. Of those 24 companies, I had six job offers. Um, I turned 48 this year. So no, it's not really a big deal. It can be a big deal, um, especially for people that are changing careers and getting into the tech industry as like a second or a third career. It can impact a little bit more. So really when we talk about like going back to the idea of what I was saying with resumes, if you can show the impact that you had at previous jobs and how all of that makes you a better developer, it's all about how you tell that story. So it really comes down to, you know, all these other experiences I had at all these other jobs, working on teams, working in these professional settings. This is how I learned to communicate well with customers. And that's going to make me a better developer because such and such. If you've got a good story to tell, your age doesn't matter. Now, some companies are going to be like, well, you know, you're over 40, so you're not going to like type as fast. Well, guess what? If your company's more than 50 people and I'm over 40, I become a protected class of citizen where you can't fire me for working slower because I don't type faster than somebody else. That doesn't give me an excuse to be lazy, but you do become a protected class of citizen once you're over a certain age, if the company's over a certain size in certain parts of the country. So here in Colorado, if I'm over 40, I'm a protected class of citizen. So they can't discriminate against my age during the hiring practice. But looking over my resume, they can be like, all right, this dude's been around a minute. Um, so they can kind of guess at your age at that point but they could select you out of that and not call you and you have no idea why and it's you've been biased against and you have no proof that it was because of your age. Um, but if they make a comment on in the interview, it's like, dang, you're old. It's like, well, okay, you know, and now we're not moving forward in the, in the interview process. It's like, okay, maybe that was an age discrimination thing and you can raise some awareness about it. Um, if it's a blatant like, oh yeah, you're old or you've got a family and we're looking for somebody that doesn't have like family connections so you can work a lot more. Now that's a very blatant discriminatory practice, which is against the law. And you can, you know, you can have, have your day in court over that. Um, so yeah, ageism is a thing in tech. Absolutely. Um, a lot of companies really want that vibrant, fresh energy coming out of school, but I have that vibrant, fresh energy, learning new tech all the time. So it really comes down to the story that you tell about the impact that you're going to have and how you're going to make that company better, how you're going to make their team better. Thanks for checking that out. I hope that you found it helpful. I always appreciate feedback, so please let me know what you think. I appreciate any subscriptions, so please tell your friends and colleagues about it as well. Check out the website techinterview.guide for more information about when I'm live streaming and all of my free content. Drop by a live stream anytime to ask questions or message me privately, whatever makes you most comfortable. See you next time.